My name is Jim Rogers. I'm a master falconer in the state of New Mexico and I've uh, been doing this sport for about 30 years. If you're flying a bird and you're only using one transmitter, you stand the chance of losing it if you don't have a backup. This is a finished goshawk. You're gonna step her out and immediately touch the transmitter to turn it on. Now it's on. So wherever she goes, this will track her. Uh, I'll show you the mounting of the transmitter. Transmitter is right there. You can see the antenna going down. So you can see the transmitter. It's a single. This would allow me to put a double on it. And this was printed by Forecast 3D. It's a double clip so that it holds two transmitters instead of one. And that gives you security in case one of your transmitters dies. And it happens quite often that transmitters do fail. My only other option was to spend thousands of dollars in injection mold. Forecast 3D did these at a reasonable cost. I can have them reprint more if I need them. So I'm gonna turn it on. You can hear the signal. All right, so when I go like this, the signal gets weaker. You can see the, the, the needle is barely moving because the bird is not in that direction. Now, as I swing around, you can see it's getting stronger. All right, that's where the bird is at. That direction is the way we go. Now, sometimes you won't see the bird but you know that that's the direction you need to go because that's the strongest signal. What inspired me to put a second transmitter on the bird was I was out here flying an eagle, a golden eagle, and he went up into a soar about 1,200 feet above me and he paired up with a wild female. I had a GPS transmitter on the bird, but that's the only transmitter I had on him. He went to that mountain right over there. Now that mountain looks pretty close, but that mountain is actually about 15 miles away. There's no way to drive over there. There's no roads, so it's strictly by walking. By the time I reached the mountains, it was dark. January 18th, it was about 20 degrees at night. I had a short sleeve shirt on, a pair of Levi's, and I had this, this hawking vest on. So this doesn't provide much warmth at all. It was one I'll remember, that's for sure. I made it back, but because it was so dark, I ended up missing my wife in the car by about a quarter of a mile. And by that time, it was six o'clock in the morning. Sun was starting to come up. So I walked out to the main road. I hitched a ride to the rest stop and I had to borrow a phone because mine was out of battery. And I called my wife and search and rescue was all out here looking for me. They had the helicopters going and everything. I didn't need that, but they didn't know that. I walked 28 miles that day trying to get him back. If I would have had a second transmitter on, the next day we could have gone and got that bird. But I never retrieved that eagle. The battery went dead on the transmitter. There was no way to get him back. So... It just inspired me to have those clips made up for the double transmitter. 